Hello everyone and welcome to Bangkok. Come with us as we explore this amazing city for the first time. to the BTS which is the public transport in Bangkok. It's a little bit of a walk but it's amazing to breathe in this city and as we're walking around there's so many temples to walk past and look at it and they're absolutely beautiful. I mean just check this one out here. We are finally at the BTS, which is the Bangkok Transit System. We are here, ready to go into the main city centre. It took us probably about 35 minutes to walk in, which has built up a big amount of sweat. We're really hot and sweaty, but it's a good bit of exercise to get those steps in. We've got here, I'm going to try and work out how to use the system. I've got the station we're going to, but the machines look a little bit more complicated than the ones in Malaysia, so I'm just gonna go and speak to the man, see if I can sell out some tickets. Then 840 per four tickets, no sir. Cap and card, thank you very much. So we're on. That was a little bit easier than I thought it would be. We didn't have to pay for Bella, but for everyone else, it was 40 baht. So all together, it cost us 160 baht to get into the center. And the fantastic thing about the BTS is the aircon. It is so nice and cool in here. But because it's a Saturday, it is pretty busy on here. Um, I think it's a little bit calmer in the week, but it's a little bit busy today, as it's a Saturday. But we're cooling off in here, and then we'll be in the center, hopefully. Hopefully we've got it right. It's been really easy to get into the center. We left the BTS at Siam, which I think is like the main uh, BTS station, really central. It's so busy on there because it's a Saturday, so I think we're gonna see Bangkok in full flow today. We have a little explore around and take in the city, but so far, it feels super modern. Everyone's really nice, and the transport system is really easy. the famous MBK center right in the center of Bangkok and we're just walking around taking the sights and so far so good there's some amazing walkways that have been set up out of the way of the traffic so they're a little bit higher up and it's all pedestrianized so it's super easy for pedestrians to get around when you're down by the traffic on the roadside the air feels quite polluted and quite thick it's hot it's humid but when you're raised up a little bit it feels a little bit cleaner you can breathe a little bit better it's not as hustle and bustly so it's a really well thought out city come with us to come and check out some of the malls and we better get something to eat because we are hungry look what we've got to keep our hands clean in bangkok check this out better. Okay, we're just gonna go grab some lunch now. We found a food court, so we're gonna head in there now. So we found the food court, Food Legends by MBK, in the MBK Center, and we have gone for some Japanese chicken with rice, mayonnaise on top. It smells delightful, and this was 55 baht per portion really cheap and what we recommend when traveling is is to find your mall food court because you're going to get some great food in a comfortable setting for cheap um, yes you can go out and get your street food but this is also another good option on a budget if you go into the restaurants in malls it's going to be that bit more expensive so we recommend getting in the food court and enjoying the food it's top quality the girls have also had chicken and rice really really cheap so this has been a great lunch option this is full packed full of taste it is so yummy there's a little bit of warmth the taste mixed together with the mayo oh it's really 
Okay, so we've just come out after our lunch, which was really, really good, and it has been tipping it down. It's slowed down a little bit now, but our plan was to actually go to a park now for the girls to have a runabout and just to see the parks in Bangkok. But I don't know if we're going to do that now because it's raining so much. It's calmed down a little bit, so it might stop. But this is Bangkok, one minute it's sunny, it's sweating, and it's too, too hot. The next minute it's a massive storm. You can literally see the storm coming across and coming in, and it's torrential rain. I feel like it's gonna clear up though, so fingers crossed we're gonna make it to a park. and it's fast. The rain has just started again so I don't know what we're gonna do when we get to the park but oh my god this is insane being on one of these. Ah! You can't get much more Bangkok than this. Way I can explain the Bangkok weather is like someone turning a tap on and down pour of water and rain and then turning it back off and it's just flooded completely. So we got on the tuk-tuk and it completely just went whoosh, so much water coming down at us and we're like oh no we've already said we're going to the park, we arrived at the park, we hid for a little bit underneath a bus shelter and now we've come to the entrance of the park. It's now stopped raining because someone's turned that tap off and we have got basically a floor is lava situation with how much sitting water there is to cross over to get to the entrance. And we are all wearing trainers, not wellies because we're in Thailand and I didn't think we need wellies. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how we're going to get across. So we have got to Lumpini Park, I think that's how you say it. It's Bangkok's answer to Central Park in New York. Um, it is very, very nice, really big. There's running tracks around it, loads of wildlife and big lakes. We've seen about five monitor lizards, like huge monitor lizards already. And I think that might be because of the rain, like they've come out. Um, it's such a nice park. We're gonna have a walk around, see if there's a kids play park. But it's nice to be in here, away from the traffic for a little bit and take a little bit of a breather. Hopefully the rain stays away. All right, so we have been at the park for a little bit now and I'm just going to say I'm super impressed with it. Um, we've seen so much wildlife. The girls are now playing on the play park. They have been for a while. They're really enjoying just being out and being really comfortable. And I'm feeling really secure in the fact that they're just there. It feels really nice and safe. It's a nice little break from all of that traffic and the malls and the busyness, the hustle and bustle. It feels a lot calmer, it feels a lot peacefuler in here. We've really enjoyed this little break and breath of fresh air from Lumpini Park. And we are about to head off to the next place. So let's go. Okay, so we've been on a BTS today, we've been on a tuk-tuk, we are now getting the MRT train to go to our next location. So let's see if I can work it out, how to get a ticket from here and go on the train. So we need it in English. To Wat Mon Kong, can you see that? Okay, good job. Four tickets, good. We want the blue line. Ah, oh, this is very much like the Malaysian. Look at that, we've got the coins again. Okay, so here's the coin, just like Malaysia coin. It's not blue like the Tesco coins that I mentioned in the Malaysia video. It's a black one. And it cost us 21 baht 
each. So times in that by four, that's 84 baht, so we don't have to pay for Bella. So we're on the MRT, it's super packed in here, it's a Saturday in Bangkok, it's really really busy, but one thing for sure is the aircon is 10 out of 10, so we're getting a bit of a chiller going on, and I'm excited for where we're going next. We've made it to Chinatown in Bangkok. This is insane. We're having a sensory overload at the minute. So far, our impressions of Bangkok have been fantastic. It's been amazing. From sunshine to rain downpour to hectic traffic to beautiful parks and scenery and wildlife, it's got it all. Now we are in Chinatown and it's nuts. Can you travel to Bangkok with your family and your children? Yes, you can. Is it safe? Yes, it is from what we've experienced so far. Is it easy to get about? Yes, it is. But now we're in Chinatown. Let's see what this is about. impressions of Bangkok. It is crazy. Absolutely crazy. We've had a fantastic day. We were out of the house early in the morning. We've had a full day out in Bangkok, grieving, living it, and there is so much to do. I think we've really used the public transport. I think that has been really, really good. But my few pointers are the traffic is absolutely insane. It is really, really busy, but the public transport gets you there quicker. The parks are absolutely fantastic. They're fully kitted out. There's gyms in there. There's children's play stuff. There's a lake to sit and relax around. There's toilets there for you to use as well. And there's always a 7-Eleven around the corner if you need anything. And then we've come to China town to finish off the day it is crazy down there it is super duper busy the girls are a little bit on their last legs now it's getting late we need to get them home they've done so well today and we have really really enjoyed it so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video comment down below anywhere that we need to see in Bangkok before we leave bye